and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a very exciting grandma haul to show you. I've got two big bags full of stuff. We've got some homeware bits, some clothes, some accessories, some bags, just like a little bit of everything to show you. So I'm gonna get straight into the video. I really do hope that you do enjoy. I also will just say before I get into this video that this stuff has all kindly been gifted, which is amazing. Thank you so much to Primark. But I'm gonna tell you my opinions. Not that I'm impressed by Primark at the minute. I actually went in again today and the selection was a lot better. So I think they're finally getting in like their new season stuff. But when I went in last week, it wasn't that much compared to when I had been in my Manchester one. Maybe it's just because the Manchester one is a lot more in, like it's a lot bigger um, than the whole one. Maybe that's why, to be fair. Probably makes sense. Usually I find like so many things that I have to choose what I want. Whereas this time I was looking for a long time to find everything that I ended up getting. But I ended up getting some really, really amazing bits and I can't wait to show you. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to start off with the bags that I've got. I got this bag today because it's brand new in. I've seen these all over TikTok and I just think this is so cute. It screams holiday. This is like a really nice long dress. Just something plain, simple. Anything like in this colour scheme. The pinks, the purples. I also said like a nice little greeny colour could look nice. If it was the right green, I feel like that could look quite nice with the blue. I feel like it sort of works with the colours in here. But I just thought it was beautiful. It's quite like heavy it feels really good quality these beads are all over the front of the bag all over the strap it's not on the back it finishes there and then it's just like this satiny material which i actually really like because if it's on my arm and it's all this material it might get kind of like annoying and dig in a little bit so i actually prefer that it's not the same on the back it looks like it's going to be a decent size bag like it looks like it's going to fit a lot in it so I'm really chuffed about this. They had another one which was in black and white, but I just thought this colour combination was more summery. And I just thought it was really cute. I don't own anything like this at all. Have been seeing it all over TikTok and I really, really, really wanted to get it the other day and they didn't have it in the store. I was really disappointed. And then today when I went in and they had loads on the shelf, I was so, so pleased that I had to pick this up. The other bag that I got was actually kind of different for me. Now, I don't really go for clutches that often. I am more of a shoulder bag girl, but I thought, you know what? I actually need to switch it up because I've noticed just recently I seem to be wearing loads of the same stuff all the time. So I thought I would switch it up and grab a little clutch bag. I think this is just the perfect clutch for holiday. It's just so nice. I love this like straw bag type of material. I love the fact that this is like a gold tinted mirrored kind of effect. I just think it's beautiful. It looks really really good quality and it also comes, let me just take the insert out, it also comes with a long strap as well. I mean I don't really know if I'd use the long strap personally. You can clip them off but if you did want something with a long strap it also has that too. I just think it's going to be great once again for holiday. I'm going on like a more of a summery holiday because I like to go on a lot of like exploring holidays. The holiday that I'm going on at the end of August is more of a summery holiday. Which is when I think like this bag and the other bag will definitely 100% be getting packed with me. Because it's like the ideal thing to take away. And I absolutely love this clutch. I just thought it was so cute and really dressy but quite minimal. So it's going to go with so much in your wardrobe. Now onto other little bits. So I actually picked up two of these. But I gave one to Josh because he's going on holiday literally right now when i'm recording this video his flight was meant to set off at 10 to 6 it is at the minute five past seven and i'm trying to look on flight radar to see where he is but at the minute it's not i don't think he's set off yet but anyway yeah, that's besides the point basically he took one of the travel sets with him so i got this other one i like this one because it's got like little squeezy balls the other ones that i get they have like the ones where you push down and the other ones where you unscrew but I like the fact that these are like proper little squeezy ones for like shampoo and conditioner and stuff. I've got so many of these. They're great to have so you can never have enough. And this was literally a pound and you get all of these. And obviously you can take the bag as well. They're brilliant. I always, always stock up on them. Even though you can reuse them, sometimes if I get like loads of purple shampoo stuck in them and stuff, after a while they just go a bit ooh. So I like to top them up and I saw this set and I've not really seen this type of set before. So I picked one of them up and then I picked also just like the standard set that you can get from literally anywhere. Next thing, I actually picked this up for my mum. It's just a lip balm. They had loads of these. This is the marshmallow one. I'm just going to open it actually and see what it smells like. Oh my god. 
Yeah, that smells really, really nice. You can't beat a lip balm. They had loads. They had loads of Carmex ones, but I found Carmex makes my lip balm for some unknown reason. I just picked her up a little lip balm. Next up, I always pick up these. These are only like little things, but I just thought I'd quickly include them in the video anyway. I got some cotton pads. I really like the oval ones because I seem to use a lot less. If I get the oval ones, I use a lot less than I do when you just get like the little standard round ones. And then the last little accessory, I've been loving loving these socks from Primark. They're like the pair, they sit perfectly because I have a lot of the Nike ones and I have like some gazelles and stuff and obviously I don't want to wear like Adidas and Nike together. So I picked up some of these and they're great. So I had to get some more because they sit just on the ankle, like exactly where I want it to sit. And you get seven, seven pairs for £2.50. That is so unbelievably cheap. So I got them as well. They're great. They're my favourite things ever. I feel like I'm getting too excited about a pair of socks, but genuinely, they're brilliant. These socks are like the best socks ever. Now I'm going to move on to the clothing bits. I won't lie, I did not get that many clothes. One thing I will say about Primark at the minute is it seems to have leapt up price wise. I didn't go through the prices of the bags. I think they were both the same, yeah. They were both £14. Especially this one, I feel like a lot of effort and like detail has gone into it. There's a lot to the bags, so I can justify the £14 mark. Like I feel like that's about right. This one, I still feel like £14 was pretty expensive. It does look good quality though. But in general, I just feel like Primax prices have gone up massively. And I actually heard in the shop a few times that Primark have like up their prices a lot so it really took me a while to like find things that I thought like that is a decent price for what you're getting sort of thing because some things just seemed so expensive. First thing I got is this shirt. My plan is to wear this shirt open with like a little bralette and a little top underneath because I don't know I might wear it like this but I did actually size up. I got it in a size small which is a size 10 to 12. Um, and I just feel like maybe on its own it'll be a, be a little bit too baggy because it's quite a boxy fit, which I really like. I just feel like with a pair of denim jeans, a little bralette and like this over the top, it'll look really nice. Or some like linen trousers, especially if I had some like linen trousers that were like the same colour as this. I feel like that would look so nice together. Really love the colour. I think like this stunning colour is so beautiful. Love the boxy fit, like I've just said. These are like a staple in summer. I like the pocket on it. I feel like I wouldn't put anything in the pocket, but I like that like little extra added detail. And yeah, it's perfect length for me. Cropped, but not too cropped. I just think little summer essential. Can't go wrong. The colour is beautiful. It's timeless. And you can like do it up, have it open. There's a lot you can do with this. You can style it a few different ways. And then the only other item of like clothing, I guess, is this little top, which I absolutely love. It's like on the verge of almost being sort of similar to knitwear like that's what kind of material it's giving it's just this v-neck it's got really nice sleeves they start off quite thin at the top and then they just go out so they're just like triangle shaped exact same on the back i just love it it's plain it's simple black and white stripes you can wear it with so many things pair of jeans i think this would look so nice with linen trousers some shorts this is so versatile you can do so much with it and that's exactly what I wanted. This was only £7 as well. That last top was £13, which I don't think is too bad. Seven quid for this, considering the quality is really nice and thick. It's ribbed. I'm going to wear it so much. I don't think £7 is bad at all. I love it. I love the length. I think it's going to sit really nicely. It's not going to be cropped, but it's going to sit just on the waistband, which is exactly where I want it to be. Next thing I got was a swimsuit. Now, this was actually reduced, which I didn't know until I got to the till. But it was £4 in the end, which is ridiculously good. I was so happy with it. Beautiful navy blue colour, but it's almost got like an electric blue tint to it. Slightly lighter than proper, proper navy. What sold it for me was the belt. I just feel like it'll suck you in a little bit more. It adds a little extra detail. It's really low backed as well. To be honest, I don't really own a swimsuit at all. I just have bikinis. And some days on holiday, especially when it gets to the end of your holiday and you've eaten so much and you just want to cover up maybe a little bit more, this is going to be absolutely perfect. The only thing I will say about this is that this doesn't actually adjust, which I didn't realise, but the belt, you can't move it. So I'm just hoping when it goes on that it's not going to, like, do this and droop down and it's going to sit really nicely. But I think it will do. It's really nice on the back as well. Like, it's not proper thong, but it's not too, like, covering your whole bum. It sits really lovely. And it seems like it's quite, can you see, it's quite low. So I think it's going to come up quite high on the sides, which is so flattering. This is just exactly what I wanted out of a swimsuit. So the last couple of, like, I guess clothing bits. Well, this is underwear and I've got a pair of pyjamas to show you as well. But look at 
this set. Look at the colour of it. I've got so many of these sets from Primark and you genuinely cannot beat them. Like, they're so comfortable. They're such a good price. This was £6 for the full set. You can adjust them. They're so comfortable and they're so flattering as well. They're just the perfect thing to wear. Honestly, I can't rave about them enough. I think I've got them in every single colour now. This colour, when I saw it in the shop, I was like, I have to get you. There's so many like beautiful bright colours at the minute and I just, I could have had them all but I thought I literally do not need any more. But I had to pick one up and I went for this electric blue colour. They're super stretchy, super comfy. I can't rave about these enough. Honestly, I think I've included them in most Primark hauls that I've done because I always just feel like when you go in, you just have to get one. But if you haven't tried them before, this is sad to go and get them because unreal and you'll be the comfiest you've ever been. Last piece I've got to show you is a pyjama set. This pyjama set I've actually got but it's in like a creamy white colour and it is so comfortable, so flattering. I feel so good when I put this set on because it's just easy and it's light and it's just great for summer. The material of it's just really soft, it's really lightweight, it's just such a comfortable pyjama set. Once again, really affordable. I think this is £8? Yeah, £8 for the matching set. You can adjust this as well. So if you want to have it a bit tighter, you can just play around with it to fit you, which I think is really nice. I love this little added, like, rose gold. Can you see that? The details. I just think it's beautiful. And I love this lilac -y purple colour. I thought it was just stunning. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah. I know I already have one, but you can never have enough pyjamas. I literally always stock up on pyjamas. If I could live in pyjamas, I genuinely would because nothing feels as good as putting your pyjamas on on a night. And as the seasons change, I'd love to get some new pyjamas and these are just perfect for summer. Last few bits I've got to show you is actually like home stuff. There's not that much, but I've said this in other videos before, but basically I've had this room since I was about, well, it's not been decorated since I was about 13 and it's just not really my vibe anymore. So I'm just trying my best because I just moved home. I can't really expect to just like flip the whole house upside down and start redecorating my whole room. And um, plus I don't know where I'm going to be living and what my situation is going to be like. So I'm just trying to tweak it a little bit, find ways that I can make it feel more like my room that I would choose to have now. I just got a few little bits to make my room feel a little bit more hermy. First thing is just a couple of little candles. I just stocked up. This one is blush florals. It smells absolutely beautiful. I did buy this because I just liked the candle, like the look of the candle. I love this like matte finish. It's so nice and like sort of translucent but not. This was £2.50 which I didn't think's bad at all. And then the other candle that I got is a bit more like bright in your face. This is tuberose and pink pepper. Oh, it just smells unreal. This one was a bit more expensive. This one was £5. Super chuffed with this. Gonna light these straight away. Love them. Just adding a little bit more colour to my room. There's a lot of grey in my room at the minute. And I just feel like it needs a little bit of colour. So I bought this really just for the pot. But it does actually smell beautiful as well. This is actually for my home whenever we end up moving. When me and Josh find a place to live, I got it for that. So I'm planning in advance. But I just had to get these pinch balls. Look how cute they are. They're actually so adorable. They like almost look like little flowers. They're so sweet and I just, I don't even really know when I'm gonna use it. I don't know what I even will really use a pinch bowl for. This was four pounds for three and you could put salt and then pop your salt on the top. I just could not resist. I saw these and I was like, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I just had to pick them up, love the color. Yeah, I love just a little something new to unbox when we get our next house or wherever we end up living. So basically, oh my God, in this house, I think I've really realized how much stuff I actually have since moving home. And I have like a full set of chest of drawers here and two of them are just full of hair and makeup products. Two full drawers, like in my spare room is where all my clothes are. Two full drawers is just full of makeup and hair stuff and it is just out of control and I can't find anything. So I got these little rope baskets. So for the three of them, it was seven pounds. Get two little ones, the same size, but these are gonna be great for my makeup bits. Like I can just put like all my blushes in one, all of my eye products so I can sort of see where things are so I can start using them because at the minute they're just everywhere and I physically cannot use them or look because it stresses me out too much. So yeah, I've got two little ones, just simple basic rope. I can take them wherever, they're gonna go in every house. I can use them for multiple things. So at the minute, this is gonna be used for like makeup storage, but when I move, I can use them for other things. And then I got this big one too, which is gonna be great. I'm gonna put like my tans and stuff in, all my tanning products, so I can easily access them. Or I might do hair bits. I 
just want to see that how much fits in each basket and then I might go back into Primark and buy some more if I can fit a lot into them. I thought for seven quid you get three of them, they're gonna last forever, I'm not gonna go off them, I can always find a space for them so I was proper chuffed with these as well and I probably will be going to get some more. That is my Primark haul, I really do hope that you did enjoy this one. I know I didn't really get that many clothing bits but genuinely there wasn't that much and as well I'm so so lucky that I do get sent quite a lot of clothing bits from other brands so unless there's something that I see which I'm like I absolutely love that and use it now. I just love Primark for like their home bits. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe and I will see you in the next video.